call me the freeway gorilla, the ape at exit eight, the one and only Ivan, mighty silverback. The names are mine, but they're not me. I'm Ivan, just Ivan, only Ivan. Humans waste words. They toss them like banana peels and leave them to rot. Everyone knows the peels are the best part. I suppose you think gorillas can't understand you. Of course, you probably also think we can't walk upright. Try knuckle walking for an hour. You tell me which way is more fun. Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Sagala. I'm here to talk to you today about one of my favorite books, The One and Only Ivan by Catherine Applegate. This is a fictional tale about a gorilla that was actually real, named Ivan. Ivan lives in a tiny cement enclosure inside a shopping mall. He's used as a spectacle to entice customers to come and shop, so he's basically there to make someone some money. He lives in this tiny cement um, domain for nearly 30 years um, with other captive animals, including Stella the elephant and Bob the stray dog. These animals' characters become his closest friends and basically his family. One thing that I really love about this book and makes it unique is that Ivan is the narrator. He's telling us his own story. So we get this great up close and personal view of his life, his friendships and his hardships. It's a really fun, sweet, sad and heartwarming tale of these animals that can communicate with one another. feelings and emotions? I know I think they do. As the story evolves, Ivan becomes more and more aware of how unfair their current situation is living at the mall. Changes start to happen at the mall and his discontent grows. Ivan is forced to make an impossible promise. He wants to keep his promise, but how can he? So grab a copy of The One and Only Ivan by Catherine Applegate and see if Ivan's able to keep his promise. Will the animals have to live out their days at the Big Top Mall? And remember, this is a fictional story, although it's based on the real-life gorilla named Ivan. Mm -hmm.